Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with Regan Grimes and a couple of current photos of Regan that Milo Sarchu posted as he says right here, he just couldn't wait, he basically leaked these photos, he lost his patience and in the first photo you can see the difference, basically right now Regan is 3 weeks post Olympia and you know, he looks bigger, he looks a lot fuller but the caption is interesting, so Milos says introducing Russell Grow, and he says that Regan right now is 292 pounds, which is pretty heavy, which is a lot, which means that Regan was also pretty heavy on stage, so he probably wasn't, I don't know, less than 270, I don't think he could have gained more than 20 something pounds uh, in these three weeks, he doesn't look like he gained more than 20 pounds, but before he did the Italy show where he placed second to Nathan Diascia, he said that he was like 275, 270 on stage at that time, but his conditioning was much better at a Mr. Olympia, I think he did look a little bit smaller, I think he did lose some size, some tissue, because he was dieting hard to get in that condition, so he must have been lighter at the Mr. Olympia, but how much? Could have he been 260? I don't think so, I think that's too light for him, maybe 265 uh, minimum, but I'm just guessing here. What I'm seeing right here is that he got filled out, and I was thinking, what kind of quote-unquote growth are we really talking about here? I mean, he probably just, you know, got back some of the tissue that he lost during the prep, and he filled out his glycogen stores, so he's, you know, fuller and bigger a little bit, but did he really make some progress? Well, it depends on how you look at things, so Milo Sharchev often talks about how he never had a real off-season, how he made all of his progress in the post-show rebound phases. And as you can see in the comments, uh, the part that I highlighted, Regan says, haven't missed a meal, training, or cardio session since the Olympia, let's work. And this kind of tells me that Regan is actually making progress right now, because he's on point in the post-show rebound period, which can be the most productive period of the year, and if you utilize it maximally, you can make some serious progress. Now, if Regan started dieting right, right now, he would probably go back to what he looked like, to where his weight was at the Mr. Olympia, if he started dieting right now. But if he continues at this pace, if he is this dedicated, this focused, and he keeps on growing and getting bigger, once again, guys, three weeks post Olympia, 292. And I think his heaviest weight in the offseason before the Mr. Olympia was 300. So he's gonna be there in another week. And from that point on, that's gonna be only four weeks post Olympia. From that point on, he can continue growing, he can continue getting bigger and heavier, and if he does that, I mean, how far can he go? For his height, he definitely needs to be over 300 pounds, he needs to be somewhere around where Samson is, that's like 330, realistically, somewhere around 330, maybe 340, but yeah, I mean, for him to be actually competitive at the top of the Olympia, he needs to be bigger, he needs to be another 20, 30, maybe even 40 pounds heavier on stage, he needs to be around 300 pounds on that stage, like Samson Dauda, because they are about the same height, so for a taller guy like that, they can be 260 on stage, if you want to win the Mr. Olympia or be in the top, but again, it seems like Regan is driven right now, he's driven, he's focused, and I'm sure he's very motivated because he just placed 9th at the Mr. Olympia, he cracked that top 10 and he didn't place 10th only, he actually placed 9th, so there are only 8 bodybuilders left for him to beat to become the best in the world, I mean only, right? It's gonna be extremely hard to get to the top of that mountain, uh, does he have it in him? Uh, Structure-wise, genetics-wise, I think he has all the tools he needs. He has it. I don't know if he's ready for that mentally. I don't know if he's driven enough to really give up basically his uh, his social life and just focus strictly and only on bodybuilding. And I think that's the only way that he can get at the very top. Once again, I think he has all the tools necessary. We'll see. It's all up to him at this point. But I'm glad to see that he's focused, that he's trying to progress. And I think next year he's going to leap a couple of spots again. Alright, the next story is very interesting, it is about Hari Chopin and him potentially, possibly, actually doing the Arnold Classic 2024. 
So this uh, Iranian Instagram page, very popular page, just posted this. Uh, this is basically a photoshopped photo of Hadi at the Arnold Classic, and they say Honey, Honey Rambert, and Hadi's decision, according to Honey Rambert, is to compete in Arnold Classic this year. Actually, next year. Hadi's main rival will be Samson Dauda. And definitely Hadi will be champion. Wishing success to dear fellow Persian. Uh, after a couple of months, uh, he will be competing at the Arnold Classic. So this is basically a translation that Instagram translated. It was originally in, um, in uh, I guess, Farsi or Arabic. I'm not sure. So, yeah, this is basically the news that we got about Hadi Japan. It wasn't announced yet by his coach, Hadi Rambert, or by Hadi himself. But, yeah, I mean, this is what we got. I don't know if these guys talked to Hunter Rambert and he told them personally. If this is really true, we will find out in a couple of days. For sure, they will announce it. Does it make sense, though, for Hadi to go to the Arnold Classic and compete? I think it absolutely does. I mean, how would it not? The prize money is 300 freaking thousand dollars. You know, last year, Samson Dauda won the Arnold Classic and he got his 300k and then placed third at the Mr. Olympia, he won another 100k, Prague Pro was another 10k, and uh, Romania as well. So, Samson earned a lot of money this year, and he's gonna be doing the Arnold Classic 2024, and I think it would be stupid for these guys to just let him have it. Now we know that Nick Walker is not gonna be doing it, maybe he changes his mind if he heals faster than he expects, but let's say he doesn't do it, if he doesn't compete, then who can stop Samson? I guess this guy and Derek Lansford are the only people that can stop Samson. I don't think Brandon Curry can really stop Samson, even though he was fourth, I think he was so much behind Samson. And Andrew Jacked, also same story. Maybe Rubiel Mosquera can, you know, progress a little bit more and actually challenge Samson. I think it's pretty safe to assume that Derek Lansford is not going to be doing the Arnold Classic, so we are left with Hardy as the only guy that can really challenge Samson Dauda. Now, can he beat him again as he did at the Mr. Olympia? I wouldn't bet on it, guys. I mean, if it is Mr. Olympia, then sure, I guess. But Arnold Classic, they usually go for a little bit more streamlined look. For a little bit more classic look. And the fact that Samson looked so much better at Prague Pro and Romania too than he did at the Mr. Olympia, it tells me that Samson can win the Arnold Classic even if Hardy competes. So this is not exactly easy money for Hadi. He needs to be 100% on, like he was at the Mr. Olympia, and then anything is possible. So it's not easy, but I guess he would be the favorite. I would, however, bet on Samson. I think he would come more conditioned than even than Prague Pro and just overall improved. And I don't know how much Hadi can improve. I think Samson can improve a lot more. And with his look, with his classic lines, with his height and everything, I think they would favor him as the winner of the Arnold Classic. But I don't know. Let's let's wait and find out if Hadi is actually competing. This is the info that we got right now. And this is what Hadi looks like right now in his post-show rebound. I mean, guys, this is insane. This is just ridiculous. I mean, he still has that hardness. You can see that he filled out, that he ate some food, some junk food probably, and he's holding a little bit of water, he's, he overspilled a little, but he still has those crazy striations, all the veins, all that maturity, you can see all the fibers, and now with him being even bigger and fuller, this is probably even more impressive than what we saw at Mr. Olympia. Maybe he wouldn't do as well on stage like this, I don't know, but here in this video, this is just nasty, this is freaky, this is really crazy. <laughs> look at this, I mean, look, I, I don't know, I can't say that this guy can, can lose, really, against Samson. And I don't know if he was supposed to lose against Derek, but it is what it is, he's no longer Mr. Olympia. Uh, we'll see about next year, we'll see about the Arnold Classic, all I can say right now is, he looks like a freaking monster. Alright, next we got a little physique update of a sort of Rolly Winkler, the beast. If you guys even remember this guy today. So he quit bodybuilding not so long ago. 2018 he placed third right after Phil Heath and Sean Roden. And I thought he had a chance of becoming the new Mr. Olympia. But then after that he just faded. And uh, year after year he looked uh, worse. I mean he downsized and he tried to come back. It didn't look very good. And now he's out of bodybuilding, and let me tell you, it's not his age. It's definitely not his age. 
I don't think it's an injury. He didn't say anything, he didn't give us a reason for why he's stopping bodybuilding, he just disappeared and from time to time he posts a little something, but there are no longer bodybuilding updates. Whenever you see him, he's wearing long sleeve shirts, so you don't really know what he looks like. This is the first time that we can see something, we can see his arms and his shoulders, and this is what he looks like right now. Uh, why did he go away from a bodybuilding scene? I'm assuming it's a health issue. I'm assuming he messed up his health by doing crazy stuff. And of course, in order to protect his image, he won't tell us that he has health issues. Rarely bodybuilders tell exactly what happened. But he's out. He's not in the game anymore. And this is what his physique looks like right now. So as you can see, his arms are still big. I mean, you can say they are small. I mean, they are nowhere near as good as they once were, but, you know, they're fine for somebody who has been retired for so long. I mean, he never officially retired as far as I know, but, you know, he's no longer competing. So for him, for somebody who is hiding in long sleeve shirts all the time, this is actually better than I expected. I mean, one arm is obviously better and bigger than the other, but, you know, he still has arms. And that was his strongest point back in the day when he was active. Uh, so he still has that body part. As far as the rest of the physique, I have no idea what it looks like. But, uh, yeah, I don't imagine him coming back and being as dominant as he was at one point. So whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.